I know spring is here because all of my plants are growing really fast. And this one has a new leaf coming up very soon. It's growing super fast. And I think yesterday it was still here and it went all the way up here just in one night. Hi everyone, this is Roxy. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you guys out to see the spring in Hangzhou with me and I'm gonna show you how to wear one outfit and turn it into three different styles. Let's get started. So for the outfit today, I picked this really plain white t-shirt, I mean shirt, because I thought if I'm going outside to see the spring, which aka are the flowers, the trees, and everything that's blooming right now, it's going to be really colorful. And to make myself stand out in the pictures, I thought the plain white shirt would be the perfect choice to go with, and jeans, so I picked my go-to dark blue jeans, tight jeans, and for shoes, I'm gonna pick a white flats and now help me with my jewelry for the jewelry today i'm trying to decide in between these three pairs of um, earrings that i have as you can see i already picked my ring for today that has pearl on it i really love pearl um, elements on any of my jewelry and this one is shell but it has this pearl white kind of reflection under the sun and this one it can really make a statement on our outfit and these are just really simple pearls that can be very classic and go very well with any outfit that you have and this pair of pink earrings the flower shape is perfect for the spring I don't think anything can speak spring to you as much as these pair and then this one is the claim blue which is a really popular color for this year I really like this as well so in the end I decided to go with these the shell these type that has the shell pearl white I thought because this shirt is really plain and it kind of if you don't have anything bling bling or kind of big to go on top of it it's going to be like going to the office but we're going to see the spring now the jewelry is ready i have my earrings and my rings and um, i'm gonna add the final touch to this outfit which is the scarf adding just a little elements to your outfit can completely change the look and feel of how it was as you could see before it was really just the plain like white there's nothing special about it and if you're going to the crowd you're gonna be vanished inside like nobody can see you but just adding a little bit of something on top of it like the earrings like all the accessories that you have you can stand out and it can make transform the look um, from like really formal going to the office look to the weekend brunch look so this is what I'm gonna go with and now that I'm ready let's go Okay, change of plans. Apparently, we're here a week late. Just imagine that these are all flowers. Still, this view is pretty good. Look, over there, I think I finally see some flowers. In my last video, I talked a little bit about the product packaging on Drip Back Coffee and just now you guys helped me with picking my jewelry. I thought I could mention a little bit more on the product packaging of jewelry since I do have an online shop and these were all the real options that I encountered. So I wanted to share with you um, my journey on how I picked them, why I picked them um, to help you guys go further. I had three main options with me at the time and one is the velvet box 
and another one is the velvet bag or a pouch and a transparent jewelry box um, but before I actually consider the prices or the materials all these specifics there was one thing that I needed to be clear on on so should you is your target demographics different groups will have very different preferences on the packaging so younger or older generation will differ a lot on their taste so know your target demographics you need to know who they are and what they value option number one velvet box um, I really like the touch of velvet it's very fluffy and boxes can give you a really good protection to your products um, it's usually made with paper carton so it's very light and the lid is usually attached to it or it is separate like this one um, over here so this is just a paper box just without without the velvet touch on top of it um, but personally I feel like that this type of velvet boxes is um, doesn't give me a lot of room to design and I still need to find a bigger bag or a bigger like shipping box to fit them inside and um, this velvet box to me strikes me more as a traditional and so my target demographics are more a uh, younger generation so I figured this wouldn't be fit to them uh, so another thing that I don't quite dig with this box is this lid every time when I close it just imagine my finger in between there. On the other hand, this paper box uh, can be fitted to more younger generation because you can design it in any way that you want. You can customize it with your logo or put anything inside there, uh, but you just need to customize your boxes into different sizes to fit in your jewelries. Whether if it's a ring, you can go much smaller or if it's necklaces, you know, you can go bigger. And inside you can fit into your care card or the plastic bags. But still, the same thing with velvet boxes, you need to find a bigger box outside of it to, you know, to be able to ship it out. So option number two is what I show you this, um, um, is this type of velvet bags or pouches. Um, this is actually what I went with in the end. It's very convenient to open and close and you can fit everything into one bag, whether it's a necklace or a ring. And if you have this care card, you can still very easily put it in there. Um, and it still has this velvet touch or if you want to switch it up, you can try silk. Um, it can be so, in so many different shapes and in design and in materials. So this is why I picked this in the end. So option number three is the transparent jewelry box. Um, this is more of a new type of packaging that I started to see from late last year, but it's more and more often now. This is actually from one of the shops, um, uh, one of the product that I got online. Um, so it has this PE film in the middle to create a transparent look and um, your jewelry is displayed out front. But one thing that I don't like about it is that this transparent uh, PE film can be very easily deformed. Like um, you can easily, how, how can I say, destroy it. Or if your jewelry has, is very big or in a very different sizes, you know, this still can fit it in, but it wouldn't be as smooth fill um, but still you can st customize this into your preferences and maybe I can give it a try next time because most of my products are very are very small sizes and it doesn't come in many different shapes so the good thing about having an online shop is that you can try out different things. Um, you can experiment everything at a very low cost and test out what packaging would go well with your target groups and your logo and your budgets. Um, that's the advantage you can get by doing an online business. Take this liberty to be creative, to be crafty. It will take time, but it's totally worth it. Everyone is shopping online right now, so all the brands are investing more and more on their packaging. To keep it really ahead of it, uh, the more you can put into your design and your packaging, in my opinion, is better. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and it inspired you in some way, whether it's the product packaging of your online jewelry store um, or to just to wear one outfit into and create three different looks. I hope you enjoy this video, subscribe and like it, and I'll see you in my next video.
This is soft shell crab in the curry. It's so good.